Hey there, this video is about how to prepare for a PhD student or postdoc interview. Now coming unprepared to an interview is a really bad idea because it may move you from the top of the list if you looked really good on paper to the bottom because it just signals disinterest and you don't want to do that. For this video, I'll be assuming that you're applying for a grant funded position in a given lab, but things will not be too dissimilar if you're applying for more an open call like a fellowship to a department. So for some question it's more difficult to prepare and I have also other videos about that, about more general interview questions. But in this particular situation, there are some questions that are almost inevitable and they're questions about the host lab or that topic may come up anyway and also about the project. So let's talk about that. So first of all, info on the lab. Now, this is greatly facilitated by the host lab having an excellent website, so you can go there and get basically all the basic info on that lab. What are, what are they working on? What are their major projects? Who's there? What are their skills? And so on and so forth. Most likely, they will also have a list of publications. And then as a bonus, you could read or at least skim one or two or three of the publications that the lab has recently produced, especially if they're sort of related to the project that you're applying for. Now, if there is not a good web page of that host lab, you may still be able to get that information online, for example, by searching on Google Scholar and at least getting a basic set of information about the lab that way. You could ask your PI, for example, if they know this lab. And also you can just, in, in the end, do a literature research and get a picture of what that lab's been doing that way. Now, the best way to organize this information is to write down notes of what you find and then Use these notes that you have taken from this research and make sure you make the link to the project. Like if you found this lab works on molecular methods, for example, then make that link to the project if you're going to be using molecular tools and then you have more specific information for this particular task. Or if the lab has been using certain statistical tools, then write that down and then see if you cannot make a link to the particular project where you could be applying this tool and link it to your own experience and your own skills as well. This is also very good material for the typical last question in an interview, do you have any questions of us? So what makes a very good impression is if you're asking a very well-informed question there, like for example, in your paper from <laughs> so-and-so, you have written that or you have used this and this technique or you used this and this statistical tool and do you think this will be useful for the project as well or something like this. So this will be the raw material for during the interview, um, let drop some little points that make sure that you have done your work on this and you have done your background research on this particular position. Now, the second point is the project. This is somewhat less common in my experience. People will generally be well informed about the lab, what they have published, who is there and so on and so forth, what they stand for. But then the project per se, sometimes people are less well informed about the project and that's not good. You should be informed about the project as much as possible. So how do you do that? Well. Your primary source is of course going to be the, the job ad because the job ad will have at least some minimal description of this project in there. It will give you some hints like is this particular project part of a larger consortium? What are the specific tasks that you are expected to do? And what are you supposed to know in order to fulfill this position? Now, if there is a link in the job ad to a project web page, as sometimes happens when it's a larger project, by all means go visit that page and learn about that project as a whole because it will make you look way more informed and give you an edge in the interview without a doubt. Again, take notes and also link it to what you know so you can be more informed during the interview. Like if the job ad says you have to have very good command of R, then write that down and then make a list of all the things that you can do in R so you can actually have very specific points to mention during the interview and you don't have to search for Ooh, which, which packages have I used. So you are well prepared for that question because it will inevitably come if it was part of the job description. And again, this can be a source for some of the questions at the end of the interview where you are being asked if any questions of us. So here you can apply some of the notes that you've taken from the job ad to just clarify what this position will be about and what the expectations are for the job. Now this is it. This will actually not take very long. I mean, it's just a couple of clicks, reading through some papers, skimming some papers at least, looking at the job ad, taking some notes, being a little bit organized about it, but it will give you an incredible edge in the interview if you come prepared 
with even some fairly minimal information about the project in the lab. The converse is also true if you come to an interview, and we've certainly seen some of that, where people have just basically no clue what this is going to be about. It's going to reflect very badly on you. And with that, good luck with your interview. I hope you get the job of your dreams. If you have any additional points, please let me know in the comments. And with that, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.